Associates were invited by Engineers Ireland to participate in the two expert subcommittees with NSAI in Ireland to produce the new Irish Standard IS398. We endeavoured throughout this process to ensure that it would be as comprehensive but as simple and straightforward a process as possible. However, unfortunately, it is a complicated technical process in that the mechanism of pyritic heave giving rise to damage in a property takes a substantial period of time and can affect each dwelling in a very different manner depending on the type of construction that is present. Briefly, IS398 is broken into two sets of documents, part one and part two. Part one deals with the testing requirements and the engineering inspection requirements of a property so as to categorize it into three separate categories, namely green, amber and red. Should your house receive a green certificate, it is confirmation that your house will not ever suffer any damage resulting from pyrite degradation or pyrite key. In essence, you have got a clean bill of health. If your house receives a red certificate, it means that your house is currently significantly damaged directly resulting from pyrite key. This means that you have had an engineering inspection confirming significant damage in your house and you have also had the infill beneath your floor slab tested by an approved laboratory to satisfy themselves that pyritic expansion of that rock has occurred. It is in essence a joining of the dots. Pyritic expansion of the rock giving rise to uplift of the floor slab giving rise to damage within the house itself. If you have got an amber certificate, there are two possible scenarios here. One is that your house has minimal damage currently being displayed within it. The cracking or minor damage that could be present may have been attributed or may have arisen as a direct result of shrinkage or just normal movement or settlement of a dwelling. You may not have a high level of pyrite within the infill material. So if your house has minimal damage and a low level of pyrite, you would end up getting a, an amber certificate. In another scenario, your house might have a high level of pyrite, but again with minimal damage. That would still get an amber certificate and the engineer should be recommending to you that your house be monitored for a period of not less than six months and ideally the winter months would be included within that six month period. After that six months your house should be re-examined by the engineer and they may then be able to move your house into the red category. Unfortunately, if your house is in the amber category, it is impossible for your house to move back into a green certificate category.